In this video, I am going to have a look at the second line of one of my life's mantras. My name's Inwills, and welcome to the In Crowd. Okay, okay, who didn't tell me that I could just do QR codes on my camera on my iPhone, eh? Hello everyone and welcome to another Inworlds video. Notice I've changed the things up here. What do you think? Do you like? Like? No? Yes? No? I'm quite, I'm quite digging the purple, I must admit. First of all, can I say a huge, huge thank you to everybody who has liked, commented and subscribed on all my videos so far. You'll be so pleased to know that we've actually got uh, managed to go over the 400 subscribers mark. Hooray! Yes, and I, which means that I've only just got a little bit under 600 to go before I get the magical 1000 subs. Thank you for all the fantastic support you are giving me. I really do appreciate it. But if you are already subbed and you're already enjoying the videos, what can you do? Well, uh -huh. I wanted to try out something new in this week's video and it's this, a QR code. Yes, by clicking on there or putting your iPhone up to the um, screen and clicking it on the camera, you can go over to my Patreon page. So if you've got any cash spare or would like to support me in my endeavours, then please do go and visit the um, Patreon page. No pressure at all. And we please remember that just liking, commenting and subscribing and just watching my videos is the best sort of support ever. So thank you. Thank you. And one last time. Thank you. So yes, these are. This is one of the videos that I tried to do in one take. Um, so I don't want to like drift off the um, subject or the topic or have to do loads of takes. Try to get a video recorded and out to you every Wednesday. And this is one of my personal videos. And if you remember a few weeks ago, I started to talk you through one of my life's mantras and we had the wonderful line, give out generously. And if you missed that video, then I'll stick a card up here somewhere. So do go and check it out. Anyway, we're going to go on to the second line of that mantra give out generously is the first line and the second line well before I let you into a secret let me tell you something about myself I am one of the most stubborn people you could ever meet no I know you all said no in wills no yes way I tell you I am one of the most stubborn people around and this manifests itself in a variety of ways. If somebody says I can't do something, um, I am so dogmatic to try to get that done. Now, somebody told me I couldn't have a radio station. And so Wilson Waffling Radio came into existence and you can still find it on the internet playing good old 60s music. I do remember a very clear point when my mom came back from a secondary school parents evening and told me that my teacher said that I would never pass chemistry. They knew me so well. I got a O level, a B. Yeah, go for Bs. Anyway. I'm very stubborn and this manifests itself either of me very, very blinkered to get something or I'm going to admit it to you guys. I really am going to miss, admit it to your friends. I'm not meant to say guys, friends. I bear grudges. Now I've said it. I've said it. I do it. You know, if somebody upsets me or somebody annoys me, then that's it. I'm like as stubborn as a donkey and I'm like an elephant I never ever forget. It goes on forever. And this actually, um, something actually went rather wrong with this once. And this is why I try to remind myself about the second line of the mantra. A while back when I was very anxious and if you want to find out more about my anxiety videos then uh, in a series called Anxiety Than Me then look up at the card up there. 
I was going through a very difficult time of my life with anxiety and I got invited to somebody's birthday party and I really struggled with going and I thought about it and I thought about it and I thought about it and in the end I actually um, rang them I think or text them I forget no I, I don't think it was text I probably rang them and just said look I'm sorry I can't go I can't arrive I can't make it and it was met with a very um, stony silence and a goodbye and then that was it and me and my friend who was called um, John um, then um, we fell out and we we used to go to each other's houses we used to have a good time used to um, watch films and play music together it was a really strong friendship and this little thing sort of like put a, a real wedge in between our friendships and but I was very much of a, an opinion then okay then, no I'm not going to talk to him again I'm not going to do it no 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 if he wants to come and talk to me anyway went on and on and on and we didn't speak to each other we just stopped talking we didn't get in touch with each other we didn't write or anything like that and years passed and I was very very dogmatic and very stubborn and not getting in touch and after a while and this is where the story gets a little bit sad I got a phone call um, not from John himself but from his sister and I she sort of like said is is this in Wilson I said yeah she says I've got some bad news for you um, John died um, over the weekend from pneumonia and he must have been only you know 30 and uh, you know late 30s and that was it and he had literally died and I suddenly thought wow I let this thing go on for all this time and now I can't really make amends I can't say I'm sorry or rebuild that friendship at all and it really got me thinking about um, something that I had thought about uh, in the past but it really sort of like came into focus now and that was this idea that you should never go to bed on an argument you should always try to um, sort something and maybe apologize or something like that and my first line of my mantra was um, give out generously and my second line which I'll share with you now is give in graciously and there's a lot of times in our lives I think that really deep down we know that we are wrong or we said it's a good idea and then it doesn't turn out like that and it's quite easy to sort of like think that you're right all the time but it takes a very special person to turn around and say do you want to know something I'm sorry I was wrong about that and I think that line give in graciously is very very important and I must admit I was wrong and unfortunately I can't apologize for it now um, so anyway I thought I would leave you with those two lines of my mantra give out generously give in graciously there's one more line to go so please do come back in a couple of weeks and we can have another friendly chat like that like this until then look after yourself and I will catch you all later and until then give in graciously see ya bye three two one so thank you to to three two one